What's up guys, I'm Luby Biaser. I'm 22 years old and I'm from LA, born and raised uh, specifically in the Valley, Valley Boys a one I am a video content creator, I guess a YouTuber, and I'm an MMA fighter. I'm um, still amateur right now, but headed towards a professional career. So like YouTube and like content making stuff, I've always been a fan of it since I was like 11. I wanted to get into video making stuff, but never really knew how to do it because I was never really an outgoing person. And around when I was 16, I went like a kind of a big like transformation in my life. I used to be really like, big and overweight, like not too confident. And I'm, got skinny and like kind of in shape and not even that like on the physical side but mentally that kind of like elevated me and um, gave me like the confidence and courage to like uh, audition for this show called Teens React and like Fine Brothers that I was really like a fan of as a kid. The next thing I know I'm like there in the studio shooting for them from doing videos for them then launching my collaborative channel then my personal channel so just like a, a big snowball effect since I was 16 or so. We've had a big transformation from like traditional media to like the digital content and like, you know, YouTube, Instagram and stuff like that. So it's really cool seeing how things are changing and trending. Trying to stay relevant and do stuff that's trendy is sometimes like a really dangerous thing to do in my mind because you end up in the hands of the masses. I can probably do like a bunch of viral and trendy stuff right now, which would get me these numbers, but I'm not going to get the long term fans and supporters I want. So since the beginning, I've always said, I'm gonna talk about my life and my training. And that was a niche a couple of years ago no one really gave a shit about. Funny enough, like as I kept doing that, kept doing that, I stayed true to like what I wanted to do. Like next thing you know, too, is like YouTube boxing is a thing. Everyone's talking about Conor McGregor like 24 seven. So I think if you stay like consistent on what you want, it's gonna work out just because at the end of the day, there are 7 billion people in the world. And even if you get 1% of the people that fuck with you, you're still gonna get what you want for your audience. But as someone who's making their own stuff, you're a lot of times in your own headspace, in your own like time frame of what things have to be accomplished. And a lot of things are not even like tangible, physical acts, but it's hours or days spent thinking like, yo, what do I come up with next? And sometimes it's dry. And it's like hard to explain that time as labor because you're not doing anything, but you're mentally thinking about things all the time, you know? So it's important to let yourself relax. I think like if you're if you're like, you know, not with it, you're not in the vibe of making things, you know, it's not reflective of you, you're not happy with what you're making, it's okay to take a break because the time scale that we're running on now is so intense compared to artists and movies that like, you know, came out every one or two years. It's very fast, so slow down a little bit. Do what you want and like don't try to do the image of what you want. They're two very different things. Whatever you have in your heart, do that and don't try to replicate someone or something or like an idea you had that you want to be like because those can end up being two very different things and you might like not enjoy the other half. So do what you want, that's it, and you'll be happy. Simple.